gearing up the wingsuit. When your wingsuit arrives from the factory, unzip all the zippers and lay it on top of your rig. No matter what model of suit it is, always put the leg straps inside the suit first. Leg straps first. Next, we want to zip the harness into the suit. If you have a one zip model of suit, then you'll start zipping it up from just above your harness lateral. Continue the zipper underneath the main lift web of your harness, that's where emergency handles are mounted, and zip it all the way closed. We're zipping the suit closed under the main lift web. Now all you have to do is bungee the zippers together. Just place the elastic loop around the button, and you're done. The bungee button system is very easy to connect and disconnect. Just make sure the zipper sliders are connected close together, the knot should be tight and large enough to not pass through the slider, and it should be tied close to the slider. Never detach the button from the slider. The reason we have Velcro here is so it can be easily replaced, but there's no need to detach it. To connect or disconnect, always just use the bungee loop. There are currently two types of lateral closure that your suit might have. The first type is the zipper that you see beneath the lateral. Take some time to figure out the best position for the zipper. It will probably be partly or all the way down. You want some room for the lateral to be able to move up and down in this area. It does not need to be all the way closed, and it's fine if there's some space here. Again, your lateral needs a little space to move around while you're sitting in the plane and during opening. So let there be a gap between the lateral and the zipper above and the zipper below. When you're using this zipper, if you feel like it gets stuck, don't worry, it's not stuck. If you look inside the slider, you'll see that there's a spring-loaded tooth that makes this a locking slider. Just pull up on it to release the tooth and slide it. Jiggle it or wiggle it, however you want to do, and it will move. If your suit has the cable lace system around the lateral, it's not necessary to lace it up tightly above and below the lateral. You need to leave a little room for the lateral to move up and down. If your zipper floats free on the end, like shown here, then don't worry too much about the tabs, just place the lateral where it's most comfortable and lace it up. If your zipper is not floating free, if the ends are sewn down all the way to the end of the zipper as shown here, it's very important to have at least two tabs secured below the zipper. This is to prevent damage to the zipper end. Again, you need at least two tabs secured below the zipper. It's really important that the lateral doesn't crash into the bottom of the zipper and damage it. So for every suit and every model, we just want to check and make sure that the suit is secured around the lateral and also secured around the main lift web. So in this case, we've got the lateral floating in the space that we've created for it, and we have the bungee buttons secured around the main lift web. Those are the two points to check on each side of your wingsuit before gearing up. If you have a wingsuit with the Inny Audi system, then both zippers are going to start at the shoulder. So attach both zippers under the harness main lift web at the shoulder area so your emergency handles are exposed outside of the suit. The front zipper zips down to where your harness main lift web emerges from the suit. The back zipper zips down to just above the lateral. Now, attach the bungee buttons around the main lift web and around the lateral. You can choose to position the bungee on the inside or the outside of your main lift web. It's your choice, both ways work. Just as in the one zip system, you want to make sure that the bungee buttons are secured around the lateral and make sure that the bungee buttons are secured around the main lift web. So when we're putting the suit on, we can do it standing up. There's no need to sit down or lay down on the floor. Hopefully your leg straps are long enough for you to get your legs in there once the rig is on your back. And once you've got the suit and the rig on your back like this and your leg straps on, position the zippers right behind your knee. Make sure there's a few teeth separating them. Having a few teeth in between the sliders will prevent the zipper from jumping if you happen to kick the sliders while you're putting your foot through the hole. And we zip it up from there. Cross the two booties, snap them to the front of your suit, lift that lower zipper up to a point where it's comfortable to walk, and you're good to go. So when you get out to the plane and it's time to suit up, what we don't want to do is just yank on those snaps aggressively. Go ahead and peel them off gently like you care about your suit. Most drop zones definitely prefer that you get your wingsuit leg zips fully secured before boarding the aircraft. So zip that lower slider all the way down, the tab angles up, the velcro on the end of the lanyard secures at that little patch behind your foot, and the heel of the suit is not meant to completely cover your shoe. It rides up a little bit, that's exactly how it's supposed to be. Once you've got your legs zipped all the way up, if your leg wing extends past your feet, then your suit will be equipped with a bungee cord that connects to the trailing edge. Go ahead and reach in there and grab that bungee cord and pull it up. This retracts the trailing edge of your leg wing a little bit and prevents you from trampling it and damaging it. So 
It'll help preserve the condition of your suit while you're walking around and boarding the aircraft. Once you're done, just go ahead and let go of that bungee and it'll shoot straight back into the inlet. So before we get on the aircraft, our leg wings are zipped all the way up. We've given ourselves a preliminary handle check, and basically the only thing that's left to be done is zipping up our arm wings. On the ride to altitude, it's good to give yourself a couple of handle checks. Give it a visual and a tactile check. Pull down on the zippers just below your handles to bring both sliders together and position the harness where it should be in the zippers. Then get your arms all zipped up, head for the door, and before you exit the aircraft, it's always a good idea to look down and give yourself a visual check one more time to make sure that those handles are right where they should be and everything's good to go. Under canopy, there's two ways to unzip and prepare for landing. One way is to zip your suit from the neck all the way down to your feet and remove the suit entirely. In this method, your wingsuit ends up trailing behind you like a cape. The other way is to reach down, grab those lanyards positioned at the lower slider, and pull it up to about your waist, exposing just your legs so you can land more comfortably. Once you're on the ground, zip both sliders down a little ways, get your feet out of the suit, and you can walk more comfortably back to the hangar. And once you're there, it's really easy to put the wingsuit down, get your legs out of those straps, and pack it up.